I recently decided that my spring break goal was going to be to completely reorganize my second bedroom, which is like my craft room slash office. And as you can tell behind me, it is a hot mess. So first I started with inventorying my pens and then I literally dropped everything that I was doing today to go to Michael's and get these photo cases. They're normally $41.99 and they have them on sale for 70% off, which made them $12 and some change. And then with my 15% off coupon, they came out a little bit cheaper. So it's like, it was like $1.89 off of that sale price. So I picked up two because they only had two that didn't have the different colored um, photo things in there. So I've organized craft stuff before in, in a case kind of like this, but it was just a single box. These are all of my Project Life cards and journaling cards. They fit perfectly into these photo cases. Oh, too bright. There we go. <clears throat> and now I'm going to organize my pens. So we had a snowmageddon, so like randomly in the middle of Dece uh, December, we had snow, and it's not necessarily snow, but the ice um that literally shuts everything down so they shut down work early and sent us home and then we were out for like two weeks and i decided to take all of my pens to find all of my pens i put them in a bin um and the bin is down there and then my rolly thing and then i have these magnetic um perch boards that i'm going to put up here these are the cups that go on it I have this Michael's case with my Crayola stuff. The crayons I think I'll keep in there. And then I have my current travel bag with pens in it. I'm going to take those all out, put them all together, and then we're going to organize them in this case. And then I have this mini travel thing that I take with me right now. And it's normally like black pens. So like my Zig fountain pen, or not fountain pen, brush pen just a bunch of different like black pens that I normally carry with me and then because I was using vinyl stickers not every pen will work on vinyl stickers so I have my big ballpoint pens all the different sizes and some big intensity fine tip permanent markers because I have a bunch of those so we're going to resort those into the correct category and get them in a in a case I just got my the rest of my Sarasa clip uh, vintage collection in so now I have the whole Sarasa clip uh, color scheme except for the orange metallic marker because I bought the metallics all individually and I don't have the orange one I also picked up, I'm obsessed with Crayola right now and just having the whole like um, collection, but they have these metallic outline markers. So I picked those up. They had them at Walmart for like eight bucks. So I was like, let's see how those do. They're kind of too big of a tip for me. And then of course I picked up the Sharpie S notes and I sat on these for a really long time before I actually purchased them because I have the whole mild liner set. But I noticed that I was using my mild liners so much that like the nibs were getting soft and like distorting or um, pilling. I don't know another word for it. So I was like, well, let me get some backups so that I don't ruin my mild liners completely and I can kind of cycle them in and out so that they're still usable. So back to Snowmageddon. So I was out of work and I decided, or off work, not out of work like furloughed or laid off, but I was off work. We were working remotely and virtually. Um, so I decided to take all of my writing utensils, my color pencils, my pens, my regular pencils, my markers, my crayons, um, out into my living room and then I inventoried them. So I got my sketchbook and then I literally wrote down every single brand that I have and it's like the make and model of a car so you have like the brand let me find an example and then you have to put like the type i think pilot is a good one pentel like i have the pentel touch um brush pens and then i have the pentel rsvp collection then i have the pentel pop and then under pentel pop i have like the milky solar crazy sparkle sunburst metallic and then i have a pentel energel x and a pento finito 
Pentel Finito. So like the make is Pentel and the model is all those different kinds. And then I guess the series would be like the Pentel Pop Milky or the Pentel Pop Solar. Um, and I did that for every single writing utensil that I own. And then I went through and counted the different brands. And I have 26 different brands of writing utensils. So I, and there are, ooh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough, but we'll just see. We'll get started. So I just wanted a better way. I bought those rolling things and I didn't really, I liked them, but I didn't like them. Like they take up a lot of like desk space. And even though I have like, <coughs> excuse me. Even though I have like a U-shaped U setup, I have a lot of technology that I use and I like to watch shows while I'm back here crafting this, that, and the other thing. And I may have like a show on my iPad, but then I have like a YouTube uh, sh uh, video on my TV. Like I do a lot of that. I don't know. So let's see. Let me talk about the case for a little bit. So this is the Large Photo and Craft Keeper by recollections and I got it at Michael's I already said that it was on sale it has a big case with the clip here I thought it was two handles at first and almost like poured these out all over the place so there's the clip to keep it closed and then the handle to carry it and when you close when you open it up it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen 16 of the small photo keepers compared to, I'm going to compare it to, I have a large photo keeper and I'll put them side by side to compare the two sizes. So here we have the large photo case that's 7.7 .7 inches by 5.7 inches so it's meant for a 5 by 7 photo and then this is the size that comes in the photo case so obviously it's for a 4 by 6 so quite a bit smaller but super compact and cute so here it is on top of one another so that you can kind of see and then next to one another so that you can see the difference and I think that that's going to work out really well. I'm super excited. And so I'm going to reference my inventory so that I know where to start as soon as I find it. I just have so much. Like, I love this thing. I got this notebook on sale at Walmart for like 50 cents. And it just, I sketched so much stuff in it. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm taking a look at my list that I made and when I inventoried everything. Some of my pens I keep in the box, some of my like pens, markers, and colored pencils, so they won't go into this photo case. So like the fine touch, my fine touch uh, colored pencils, those stay in their cases. So do my master touch because they came in those tins. My stamp it up pastels and watercolor pencils also came in a case. Uh, the Prismacolor Premier, they come in their own metal case. Same with the Hobby Lobby Flexible Markers and the Parku Erasable Gel Pens. So that brings us to our Pilot Pens. So I need to pull the Pilot Frixion Pens, my G2s. Pilot Frixion and G2. And I need to write this down because the one thing that I didn't do is get a label maker. So this is where I want to like swatch. My goal was to swatch and remake an inventory. So I started using stickers to make a table of contents and now I don't know if I like it. So I don't know, I haven't really finished. That was like the whole point whenever I inventoried it so that I could redo like a pretty inventory, which is why I did it in my little sketchbook, which is looks a little crazy. So I just need a blank page so I can put these in order. This is my black paper. Huh, maybe right here. Nope, I'm just not gonna put it in my, my TN. We'll do it. right here 
Okay, so we're going to start with the Pilot brand. And I need to pull my Frixion and G2s. And I think my Frixions are in my Rolly thing. I saw Pilot Varsity. Uh oh. I have those. Got these lead refills, I almost forgot. There are my G2s. Let's see how many pens can fit in one of these things. Okay, I'm going to start with the Frixion because it's okay if, like, I mix types of Frixion. So these are the Frixion colors. They have <coughs> like a marker tip, a marker nib. So I'll put those in there. That may be all that fit. What if I turn them? So when it comes to the Frixion, you can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across the bottom. And then I'll put them the other way. I don't particularly enjoy doing this, putting them opposite ways. And then I have the highlighters. <coughs> Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think those are going to fit. So I'm just going to do the Frixion Highlight Erase Vills in their own bin. I have, oops, and then pop it closed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I have twelve colors, and they fit with plenty of room in there, and they can all go the same way, which I enjoy. <coughs> oh, I need to take a drink. And then the Frixion colors. I have the pastel colors, which I'm pretty sure that they dried out. I'm pretty disappointed in these pens. They didn't really come through. Let's make sure that I'm doing these the same way. And I am. And then the neon ones went on sale for 57 cents. So naturally, I had to pick those up. I think I'm going to put the erasable clickers. I only have three of these colors. <coughs> and normally I'm a collection person, but, and this one came with my rocket book. So it's just a capable ballpoint, roller ball. Normally I do collections where I want all of the colors, but these just, I don't know, they're, they feel cheap. They're not, but they feel light and cheap and I just don't go for them but I have them for my rocket book <coughs> so I can take notes and then scan them into my app so
Okay, so I got those all in there. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 pins. That's good. Oh, these are... Okay, so we've got this. So you have to be light and gentle to get that to pop. I was trying to like really click it shut. And then my Pilot Varsity fountain pens, those will just be all by themselves because they're just a class of their own. Well, this one keeps popping open. That's frustrating. Let me try a different one. <coughs> I don't know why all of a sudden I got a cough. I've got my water. Okay. So these are like super cheap. And that's frustrating. Okay. Now, for my G2s, I think I'm going to have to sort these into their different types. Like, I got a Pilot G2 regular set, and then I have the pastel set, <coughs> the neon set, and the metallic set. So, all the metallics, there's four neons, four pastels, and I got a one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten pack. I feel like I should have more. <clears throat> I'll have to double check that. Okay. And now into the case. Of course, I have two black G2s, so the regular. I'm going to call these the regular colors because they are. And then I think I'll put all the specialty colors in their own thing. <clears throat> so, all the metallics, and the pastels. And I know that this video is going to be long, but I'm one of those weird people, like, when I sit down to watch YouTube, like, I want to sit and watch it like we're out at lunch together and or sitting together organizing our stuff. <clears throat> I don't think a lot of people are like that. I think they just want, they go to YouTube for tutorials and they want a quick answer and not necessarily <clears throat> sit there for hours. So don't if you don't want to. But if you've gotten all your supplies and stuff and you're organizing your pens with me, that's even great. That's even better. All right, G2s are done. <clears throat> Actually, <clears throat> I think this case is a dud. <clears throat> it's just... Good thing you can... The storage stuff is 40% off, and I can just buy another one. But that's... I don't know. We'll figure out how to make that work, but I'm going to set it to the side because it's frustrating right, me right now, and I keep grabbing for it. And I just keep getting even more frustrated. Okay, back to our list. So we've got these. Check, check, check. And the, there we go. And the G2s, regular neon pastel metallic. The Copic Sketch... I have 17 colors. I bought, they went on sale super cheap at Hobby Lobby. So I got like pinks and grays because <clears throat> I was trying to use self-control, which I very rarely do when it comes to purchasing pens and stuff because I literally just do what I want. I literally just do what I want. I know it's bad. That's how I end up with all this stuff. But I love it, 
and I make a point of rotating things around to make sure everything gets good use. Look, these still have the tags, but they were $1.99. And so I think I gave myself a budget of like 20 bucks, maybe 25. Oh, they're hard to get out of this thing. And bought all the different colors I could. Of course, when they first marked them down, they had them in this big box. I just so happened to be wandering through Hobby Lobby and they were clearancing them out. So I was literally picking up the colors as she was putting the sticker on them. So I got a bunch of pinks and grays, all different. And I've honestly never opened them, but it's okay. I will one day. <clears throat> <clears throat> That'll be a goal. I'm going to search YouTube for a Copic markers for begin beginners and do whatever they're doing. Let's see how many we can get in here. Ooh, these are thick. Is this the same? Nope. Two. Now we'll do three, four. Seven, <clears throat> eight, seven, eight. Oh, all right. I got to flippity flop these. Boy, they're all going the same way. I think I can get nine in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one's gonna have eight, one's gonna have one. Hmm. I don't know. When I look at it this way, I think that maybe I can get some more in there. Let's try it. We'll just set them up here like this. Nope. Oh. That worked. Okay, so <clears throat> these will hold 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 Copic markers, which gives me three. I need to find, so I bought Copic markers when they first came out, and I got them in all primary colors. <clears throat> I need to find those. And we'll put these three in their own little case. And now I have room to buy 10 more. Or 11 more. That sounds like a perfect plan. But not at full price because I'm not paying $4 a pop. Alright, Copic markers are done. <clears throat> Check them off the list. Oh, I was checking in green, but it's okay. Okay. <clears throat> UB. UB is a brand at Target. I have the metallic brush markers the gel pens and the dual tip brush. I only have three gel pens. I think these will all fit in a case together. I bought the metallic brush markers because I thought that they were like a Stabilo pen. <clears throat> and I had never seen metallic Stabilo pens, which I guess they do exist. I've learned since then. Um, but I didn't have them at the time. And these were on sale at Target. You know how Target will randomly mark down some pens, then all of a sudden they're like only a dollar, and you literally have to go to Target every single day in order to figure out when the sales are going to be, or at least that's what I do. <clears throat> all right. Let's see if I got them all. It says that the metallic brush markers, I should have six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And these are not, you see they're even kind of shaped like a Stabilo. Not, you see they're even kind of shaped like a Stabilo, but they are not, they are a brush. And it's a really flexible brush, soft. They're lightweight, they feel cheap but they're kind of pretty. I can't complain. And they even write pretty on black paper. And then I got three 
<clears throat> gel pens. Actually, this is incorrect. Where is the... I have three other gel pens also that are UB brand. I need to find those real quick. Well, I failed at finding those pens. They may, maybe they're at work. Maybe my days are just blurring together. And then these are the first brush pens that I ever purchased because I was taking a little class and they were only like $11.99 for all, nine for all the colors. I was living somewhere that didn't have a Michaels. They had combos I think at the local Hobby Lobby but they were really expensive $26.99 is a lot for a pack of 10 pens and really you only get nine pens that are a color and then you get the waterless blender so I was like oh I can spend $11 on these little dual tip pens and <clears throat> and see if they work so it has a brush tip and it has a felt tip that's a lot like a studler so they were a good starter pen. And since then, of course, I've acquired the entire Tombow collection. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. So let's see if they even fit. Because I don't know. Uh-oh. I didn't even think about that. It's okay. Let's see if they'll fit. We'll test it with my, with the big one. And we can see if they fit in the big one. Oh, they do. So I'm going to set the UBs to the side because I do want to keep all the brands together. And what I may end up doing is going back to Michael's, depending on how this goes, I may go back to Michael's and purchase these. Well, let me see the case that I have my, oh yeah, they're the same size. So the case that I have my Project Life cards in, I was hoping that these cases were the big ones, but they're not. <clears throat> I'm just gonna have to get creative. And I think creative. And I think what I'm gonna do is get cube organizers because right now I have everything, all my supplies and stuff are in like plastic bins, but they're all in random plastic bins. Like some of them are clear, some of them are blush pink, some of them are hot pink, some of them have handles, some of them are teal, some of them are busted. Like it's like I had like seven different themes that I did throughout the course of my crafting career and I don't and it's ugly it doesn't look nice so I'm gonna redo it so we're gonna put UB on hold so they need a large photo case okay so the poppin pens this was the very beginning of my pen collection ever and I found this I was at Sam's doing some back to school shopping trying to get my classroom set up and they had this big pack a variety pack of pens and they were by the brand Poppin which you can find at Staples but not only did they have the ballpoint pens but they also had the highlighters and all the ballpoint pens were a different barrel so I kind of feel oh and they had gel pens let me get out of this thing so, so it was a big old pack and it was only like $3.99. Like it, it was super cheap for me to even be able to remember that means it was either $3.99 or $6.99. And I was like, no way. So I bought it. And I think the only, nope. We'll pull them out of this thing. And I'll set my little rolly Rolodex. Lazy Susan of pens. Okay. Now, I was a smidge disappointed because when I got home, and I was super duper excited. I was like, yay, you know, they have gel pens, it has ballpoint pens, it has highlighters. And then I opened up the ballpoint pens and they're all the same color. I thought I had gotten a variety pack of colors and I did not. But 
Obviously, I liked them enough to keep them this long. That was years ago. Holy moly. Uh, it's going to close this way. Okay. So we'll put those in there. They fit perfectly. They haven't. The highlighters still work. You can tell I used them a lot, though. Look how nasty that is. These went with me everywhere. Okay. Well, they're getting dry. Oh, just the yellow one. That pink one's still going strong. So, this was what started it all. And then I found the planner community, and it was just all downhill from there. Okay, so those all fit in there. So, popping pens, if you go to Staples and you like popping pens, it'll fit... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21. Or if you have a pen that's similar to that. 21 pens in the little photo case. Oh, one row is done. <clears throat> okay, so we got those. Let's check them off. Okay, let's go on to the next page. All right. Kelly Create. I have the jewel brush pens, the dream pen, and the 0.5 multicolor fine liners. And this is, is in its own flimsy pack. So we're going to see if it'll fit in the photo case. And I don't know if the dream pens are going to be too long. So we may have to put these in a big photo case. So let's see. Those are right here on the edge. So there are the fine liners. and fine liners, the metallic brush pens, Ooh. and the dream pens. And I only have one set of the dream pens. Um, I haven't found, I can't find the other set in store. Like I found the colors online, but I just refuse to pay full price for anything ever. So I haven't purchased them because I can't find them for less than full price. If I, and really, if it's not more, if I can't get more than like 40% off, I don't really want it either. But that keeps my collection growing. Okay. Oh, they don't fit. Okay. So we'll save Kelly Creates. We'll get the, a big one for them too. And here I have, I use my like candle jars. So right now we'll put those up there. We'll put the Kelly Create. Oops, I almost knocked that off. We'll put the Kelly Creates in there. Oh, that didn't work. Set, just set it to the side. Set it to the side. Okay. What's next? We still have a whole row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We still have eight more containers to fill. The Tombos I'm gonna put in. Ooh, the Sharpies. Uh, memory Pen right, System Writer. We'll do the Zigs, okay, because I only have like four of those. And then the I can't even say it. That's the Zig brush pen that I bought. I bought two of them. I bought a strawberry one and I bought a light pink one. And I didn't even realize that those hit the market like four years ago. I'm like, where have I been? Oh, man. Those don't fit in there. Oh, man. Those don't fit in there either. I could put them crossways since I only have four. And if they ever come out with more colors, I know they have, Zig has some other pens. I haven't really ventured into that brand, but I probably will soon because I'm running out of things to buy at the store. Then I'll upgrade to a larger photo case because those are pretty much always in stock. Check it off. Okay, now for my Sharpies. I have these. Let's, before I even take them out of this thing, I need to make sure that they'll fit in here. Oh, they do. Hot dog. 
Now, I didn't buy like the Ultimate Collection or anything like that. So I honestly have no idea what Sharpies, what colors they are. Like I get a little frustrated, oh, that they don't write the colors on the barrels. And I don't think I really even paid attention until I bought the 100 count Crayola Super Tips. I finally broke down and ordered those, ordered those off the internet off of Amazon and that was a rabbit hole. I sure enough did swatch every single one of those markers. Okay, let me back up. So I bought the 120 pack. So it came with the 20 scented markers and the 100 Crayola markers. Well, I dumped them out before I ever even searched YouTube to see how you name them because there is a chart with each marker's name on it. And I was like, oh my goodness, how am I going to do this? So I got a Joanne's gift card from Christmas for Christmas from my brother and his wife. And so I went to Joanne's with my mom for some after Christmas shopping. And I decided to buy the 100 count colored pencils. And I was like, I'll just swatch every single marker. And then swatch every single pencil and match the colors. And that's exactly what I did. <laughs> But I was, I was able to match all but 36 colors. I know. It's madness. Still frustrating. And then I was going to do like a color comparison with Tombow's. But then just looking at the grays, I was like, yeah, there's way too many variations of these colors. And then it soaks into the paper. And I was like, no, I can't do that. Okay. So these are my fine tip sharpies. So like they're the regular permanent markers and it fit two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. It fit 15 of those and then I put the rest of them in this bottom one. So look, my co collection can grow because I did see, I was either in Walmart or Target because I'm regular there, regulars there, um, that they have like <clears throat> limited edition colors and there's no way for me to even verify if I have the colors or not because there's no name on them. And I, you know what, I need to look harder and see if there is a number. Nope, there's no way for me to know. I swatched them. Maybe that's, I haven't really done research on that though. So I may do that. And then one time I went to the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. And they had Sharpies for a dollar, so I bought all the different colors that they had. Then I brought them home, swatched them to see if I have any duplicates. And I don't have very many duplicates besides black, but duh. This may take three bins because I got a crap ton of these. And I don't even really know why. Oh, then I went to Walmart and they had like multi packs on sale. And, okay, so what I use these for is my dry erase board. Like, I have a dry erase calendar, and you can just get very, very detailed, and you can write super duper small in on a dry erase board, and then just use your Expo markers to erase it. You can color code everything. So, I needed a good variety of colors. Okay, so... I got this going on. Will it shut? No. Let's take two of these out. One. Oh, I gotta pop these tops on. Eek. Okay. And there's this one. It won't shut. Let's take three markers out. So I got all my Sharpies in two bins, three bins. What am I talking about? I just looked at that and said two. So these are all my Sharpie Ultra Fine. My Sharpie Fine I got in two bins, those in three. And now we only have two bins left. I wonder, I'm just trying to look and see what I can do next, just by kind of looking. Let's check these off. 
Oh, so we did this Sharpie Fine. Oh, that's what we'll do. We'll stick with the Sharpie name brand, but we'll just do the rest of the pens. So I have the Fine Point Permanent, the Ultra Fine Point Permanent. The S gels are in my travel kit, so I won't put those up. But I have the Sharpie pen, the Sharpie brush pen, and the Sharpie highlighter. And I think I can get all of these in one case. Let me grab them out of my pen lazy Susan that spins around. Almost. Okay. And I know that my thing said Sharpie Pen Fine. I had 19 colors, but I also have this thing that pops out. And I'm not gonna take them out of this case to put them in here. I really just wanna use this photo case to get my pens that are like just loose. Like if they come in the <clears throat> packaging that you have to break and you can't put it back together. I know it's good. Sharpie brush pens, perfectly. Sharpie pens. Oh, please work, please work. Sharpie highlighters. Please fit. Okay, it's a tight squeeze, but yes, those all fit in there. Uh-oh. I think I've been putting pens in here the wrong way. Okay, and last but certainly not least, we're going to go back to this busted one that was making me angry. We're going to check these off the list. The S gels stay in my pouch. And now we have the Marvy. Oh, or can I do the tool? I have the tool metallic medium point eight and needle point four. Let's do those. They're in the same thing with the Marvy ones. So the tool needle points are my favorite. I've actually never purchased a tool pen. They've always been gifted to me. Isn't that crazy? Well, actually, these two I got out of a D stash. And then the red and the purple were gifted to me by an old friend. And then the metallic ones were a gift at our planner meetup Christmas party from one of my good friends. So I thought that was some crazy facts. And I used to have neon ones. They were gifted to me in a swap, but I did like planner uh, rolling cases for my nieces because I took them to a meetup once and just trying to share my hobbies with them. And they were both in middle school, so it was definitely a hobby that they could partake in. Though I don't think they kept up with it. Like, that is so frustrating. All right, it's, I mean, what makes it so different from all the other ones to where it just won't? All right, so all the tool pens fit in there. And I have room to buy some more, which I might one day. 